Right, how are you all doing? Stupid monger fan. Just finished a late night the stream. Second stream of the day. <laughs> Got an opportunity to play Monster Hunter Rise with uh, Inky and Divine. Fantastic. And uh, like a nuggy, I've been carted many a time. I think I'm still sub 10 but got carted many a time because I decided, like a smart ass, I was going to rock around as a heavy bow gunner. And I hate heavy bow gunner. Uh, just the buttons are reversed for a lot of the other stuff that I use. So, like wire bugs, usually on my stuff, the uh, wire bug button will be L2, and then triangle would be uh, uh, like wire bug mobility, and then circle would be for defense. But on Gunner, RB is Wirebug, and then is it, uh, Triangle is for defense, and then Circle is for mobility. So I was just completely screwing with other, <coughs> you know, a, a, like a couple hundred hours worth of muscle memory. I'm like, Ugh! and I get steamrolled because mobility is just something that Heavy Bug Gunner doesn't realistically have, but, I went into a, a couple of fights, like, just completely underprepared, and I made stupid mistakes, and... Pfft. Anyway. <sighs> That's not what the point of today's vlog that is, but I just want everyone to know it was fucking great. Fucking great. I think I'm about 10 HRs, 10, 10 Hunter ranks away from the end of the game. Ish. Uh, so I think that, that apparently the story ends at 50. So, uh, nearly there, nearly there. But, today, the groove there was. Noodle going on his school trip, 4.30 in the morning. <laughs> so, really early start. Uh, but, it was, it was smooth. Now, the, the fun part was, or funny part was, that we thought we'd be doing the school run. But because Tuesdays was Randall's game night, my mum had the boys. So mum did the early morning of the score and she sent me pictures and stuff of them and getting ready to, to go and all that. And bless, they got to the school at 4.30 to get on the coach and all that because they're going on this big out of town, uh, uh, the trip. I think they're going to York. But <sighs> they weren't actually leaving until... 5.30, I think, or something like that. And the, a lot of the parents were like, well, why didn't you tell us to get here at 5 then if you're just going to have the kids sit on a bus for an hour? They're not going anywhere. They're just going to be sat there. And, uh, and then we also find that apparently some children weren't allowed to go because they had a quota, like because they weren't willing to pay the extra for a second coach. So certain kids were told, yeah, you can't go kind of thing, even though they'd have wanted to go, which brings me to the the groove, the the bah of, of the vlog. Many, many, many years ago, my eldest doodle wanted to go on the York trip. Initially, they said he wasn't going to be able to go, which actually annoyed us a fair bit. I mean, initially, he didn't seem all that interested in it, but when when the chance came up, he it was kind of he kind of wanted to do it, and then out of nowhere, the school said he could do it. They bigged him up to do it to uh, to go on this trip. We even said that, like with even with Noodle, we've said like, hey yo, if anything goes wrong, just give us a call. We'll drive from where we are to York to come and get him for any reason. We'll do it. We said that for Doodle. We said that for Noodle. The school was aware of it. We're not kidding. Like, if we get a phone call at, like, 3 o'clock in the morning, mate, York sucks balls, we'll be there. I've got no problem with that, right? But... <sighs> they said to Doodle all those years ago, like, initially, you can't. Then you can. And he gets really psyched. We're really kind of in the groove to for him to go. He's prepping and all this kind of stuff. He's getting kind of excited for it. And then out of nowhere, they say, nah, mate, you can get fucked. You're not going. 
it really, really aggravated me back then. I mean, it still does, obviously, today, because they're bigging kids up, saying they can go to these things, and they're not letting them go. They're not even giving them the opportunity to. And it's... <sighs> he was so upset. He's still pissed to this day. Like, oh, he won't remember. He won't mind. It's not that big of a deal. And even to this day, he's like, yeah, Noodle's, uh, Noodle's going to York, isn't he? Like, yeah, he said... They wouldn't let me go on that trip, would they? So, nah, mate. Sorry. So he's got the next couple of days off school. So <laughs> I think actually his school's already, they're finished for this week. Cause they're doing some Jubilee stuff, but just, no. <laughs> just no. His brother gets to go on a holiday. He's getting the, he's getting the holiday he didn't get. So bowling and swimming and, and all that kind of stuff, if he so chooses. But just, it just re really, really, really ragged me off and it put a really sour taste in my mouth because obviously Noodle's gone on the trip. I really hope he has a good time, but just... Because, oh, you know, I put, I put Doodle in a bit of a downer and... Don't tell kids they can do something if you're only going to pull it out from under them, you insufferable bastards. I've never been a huge fan of the school that uh, Noodle is at and that, that Doodle went to, but just... Stuff like that really, 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 really pisses me off. Really pisses me off. Uh, it's done now. It's done. This uh, seems so cruel. So fucking cruel. Getting people's hopes up and then just whipping the rug out from under them. What I should have done back in the day, what I wanted to do back in the day is where the school said he couldn't go. I wanted to kind of book and take him myself, you know? But, mm, bad dad, <laughs> bad dad. Now I've managed to cough myself raw. So I'm in a fair bit of, uh, fair bit of the pain today. Bad headaches. Lungs really hurt. And all I really want to do is just crash out. And the dog took advantage because of it. Because I'm not feeling it, right? The wife come home. Because all of her workshops are finished now. Because of the workshop. She was doing workshops. Friday's got kind of cancelled or, or uh, moved to another day. And she's finished it. Uh, did she do one yesterday? What day is it today? Tuesday? Wednesday? I don't know. But either way, the last one's today. And she... Uh, she did the that, and on the way, no, was it yesterday? She had to do a pickup today for all of the um, materials and stuff like that. Anyway, she came back with lunch, right? And I'm, I'm sat, you know, just uh, nomming my lunch. She brings back lunch, I'm nomming all my lunch, it's great. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm doing my bits and bobs. And I get up, and I think I might be making, because my mum come around, I think I might be making her a cup or something. And uh, mum go, oh yeah, the, the dog's kind of rustling around your desk. Like he's, uh, he's sniffing around your desk. What for? And I'm like, oh yeah, he's probably just after my lunch. <laughs> now, when my lunch got given to me, all right, the dog came back from his walk with the mama, his, uh, the wife, all right? And uh, he instantly just came and took some of the food or stuck his nose on my food. And so I just, I gave him one bit of it. It was like um, sausage rolls, sausages, um, chicken strips, stuff like that. Just like in an assortment, you know. It's like one of them lunch deals. And <laughs> he he waddles off. It turns out the bastard had fucking when when my mum had come in. And it turns out when as I left my desk, he got my fucking food, mate. You cheeky little bastard. I was hungry. <laughs> but, so you get, so you ever been sick? You're getting sick. You're getting slow, and the dog's like, "There's an opening," because he doesn't share food. Because look at that fat bastard! And I'm like, "Food, no!" Can you deny the dog all, uh, a snack? So <laughs> that's that's the highlight of my day. That's the the rage and the trauma of my day, and the fun and the groove and. So I still just I still pisses me off about that trip. But I really do hope Noodle has a, a, a good time. Um, really do. We'll find out on Friday. 
I'll be back at uh, 9 p.m. I'm gonna head off. Great hunts, guys. All fun. I'm gonna go and watch a documentary about Watergate. Just randomly, <laughs> that nuclear disasters are randomly on my brain right now. So, hope you're good. And I'll see you all with a bit of luck in the next one.